Hello again everyone, this is Yasser from Yasser AZ and today I'm starting a new series for web development and I hope that you would enjoy it and find it helpful for your career learning React.js. Basically, it was a long time since my last video on my channel, on my YouTube channel, but lately I decided to start make making YouTube content again. So the first thing just pop up in my mind is React.js. So I will start like a React JS fundamentals along with uh, TypeScript. We what we will build, we will build like to do application um, containing the basic React fundamentals along with TypeScript. Um, so basically, this is like um, an overview of the um, of these of this project of this series. Um, basically, what you need to get started, you just need to have. Uh, Node.js on your operating system. So just make sure that you have Node.js up and running and installed on your machine. So to make sure that it's already installed, just open your terminal, um, whatever the operating system you are using. But in my case, I'm using Ubuntu Linux. You can open your terminal and type node version and it will give you the version, the running version, installed version on your operating system. Um, this is how you can make sure that Node uh, is already installed on your operating system. The other thing which is already coming with Node.js is the Node Package Manager. So uh, also, if you installed Node, you can make sure that it's already installed with, uh, with Node, which is the Node Package Manager. You can type npm slash version and you will get also the installed version. So that's how you can make sure that it's already installed. The other thing you need, of course, you need a text editor. Um, in my case, I prefer and I'm using VS Code. Of course, you can have your own code editor, the one you feel uh, comfortable, you, you feel like it's the best thing you can have. Um, you can go ahead and use it. But I would suggest to use VS Code because it's more flexible, have a lot of options, have a lot of extensions. Also, it's lightweight. Also, it's um, the terminal is already integrated inside it. Um, it's flexible, a lot of options, customizable, uh, simple. Um, you can go ahead and use your own, of course, your own uh, code editor, but I'm using VS Code. Um, but yeah, that's basically what you need to get started. So this is it for uh, the intro video. I hope that you would enjoy this series and find it helpful in your journey with learning React.js. And also, I would really appreciate it if you have, if you like the content, just leave a like. And if you have any um, suggestions, just leave comments. Uh, and of course, I will go ahead and replay it right away. Um, but uh, I would really appreciate it if you can if you can support the content, um, if you like it, and maybe you can share it with uh, somebody that uh, you can that maybe he will find it helpful in, in his uh, in his learning journey. Of course. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.